All right, let's decorate our Victorian house here. Uh, one of the things you always see in these houses are those creepy family portraits they have of their long dead ancestors. That always adds a lot of atmosphere to these sort of environments, so why don't we do one of those? I start off with the drawing here, and this is just a fictional character, uh, nobody in particular. I just wanted to create a character that had that old-timey Victorian portrait sort of look to him. And I enhanced the contrast. Alright, now we're going to do some sloppy coloring. We're just going to scribble along with the mouse. I'm going to start out with a dark background. And I'm going to blend the outline into the background, so first thing I'm going to do is scribble in sort of a white area. Then I'm going to sort of blur that. Alright, and I'm just going to color it roughly with the mouse. And I'm using one of Corel Photo Paint's fake paint brushes. It kind of gives you a wispy paintbrush sort of look, but it's very artificial. It's not going to fool anybody for sure. It looks pretty rough, but that's okay. It fits in with the rest of the graphic style. I'm going to add some color processing effects so that I can adjust the hue and the saturation and the lightness just to try to hone in on the right sort of look that we want. and. Honestly, I'm having a difficult time trying to decide exactly how we want it to look. So it might be a matter of just pulling it into the game engine and seeing what it looks like and then making any adjustments if we need to later on. And even with all the coloring, it still looks a lot like a pen drawing. So in order to make it look more like a painting, I'm going to want to overlay some texture to it. A lot of old paintings have kind of a crackly look from the paint drying and, sh and the canvas shrinking a little bit. The, the paint starts to crack. So to try to find the texture, I'm going to textures.com, which is a website that has royalty-free photographs. Now, you can't really use any, any images you find on the internet in your art. You have to find web pages that have public domain or royalty free or some sort of permissive license that allows you to use the photographs without violating copyright. But this is a good resource. None of the textures are really usable as is for game textures. 
but they're a good starting point and they're just a good source for textures that you can blend in and when you create your own images. So I'm looking for something that has a crackly sort of look and I think this will be a good one here. You can sign up for a free account. You can download these textures without paying any money, which is one of the great things about this website. Okay, now I've brought the texture into Corel Photo Paint and changed the size so that it matches the size of our portrait. Now I'm going to blend this texture over top of the drawing that I've already made. All right, it's starting to look a little bit more like an old painting, and I'm going to play around with the blend modes to see if I can get it to look even better. All right, well, it doesn't look amazing, but I was worried that it was going to look even worse than this. So I guess it's pretty good. All right, well, we need to add a picture frame, but it already looks pretty good in game, I think. And that'll do it. Mm -hmm.